Yes. Sure, sure. Um, just to throw a few out real quick, but I, I don't mind writing down a few. Maybe if you guys can get me a sheet of paper, I'll write them down. But uh, one in particular that was huge for me was actually the introduction of the devout life uh, by St. Francis de Sales. Um, that's a very challenging book. Uh, challenging in that it really hits the heart um, and challenges you where you're at. Uh, the other one would be um, Spiritual Combat uh, by our, our um, I just forgot his name, he's an Italian, but it's called Spiritual Combat. It was written back in the 1500s. Um, another one would be um, my book. <laughs> Shameless plug there, but uh, uh, <laughs> um, you know, if, and depending on what you want to get into, if you want to get more into like a theology book, um, I would always recommend, uh, as difficult as it can be, trying to open up the Summa. Uh, the Summa Theologiae uh, by St. Thomas Aquinas. It's a tough one, uh, but there's a lot of commentaries on it that you can start with. Uh, one of my favorite is actually by a guy named Dr. Kevin Vost. Um, he's actually a dear friend of mine and a, a co-author um, that he, writ he wrote one called The One Minute Aquinas, and it really kind of just slowly goes through what Aquinas taught so that when you jump into the Summa, you're not just flooded like you've been shot with a fire hose. Um, you know, if you want to get more into spirituality or, or particularly into like the, the men's movement type of stuff, um, John Eldridge, he's not Catholic, but I'm a big fan of his stuff. A book called Wild at Heart uh, is fantastic. It's very, very good. Also highly recommend Deacon Harold Brooks Sivers' uh, Behold the Man. Uh, he just recently came out with that. It's much more of a theological uh, uh, understanding under, uh, of what masculinity is. Um, so there's just a few, but I'll, I don't mind writing down a few as well.